16th and so happy to have everybody on board this morning. In fact, let me do this. by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music Gear Watcher. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and so, so very happy to be in association with Rise Up TV, uh, Big Records and of course Sony Music, The Orchard as well. Uh, today, believe me, so, so very, very happy to have uh, the brothers back, yes, the Hammond brothers, Dale and Gail, are joining us. Uh, I think they're coming out of Philly. Uh, they were saying they were down in Boston, then went to do television in uh, Nashville, back in Philly again. These guys get around. They really, really do. So I tell you what, we're going to release a few new songs. Well, actually two today. Uh, one we've been playing for a while and one we've been uh, working on quite a bit. And, you know, we've been getting some really, really mixed results with it. So let's start off with... Uh, the Hammond Brothers and Crime in the Rain. <laughs> Who was that? That was that's one of the guys that work here. Guys that work here. Say hi to Grant. Say hi to Grant. Grant. This guy here. The best Say hi to Grant. Nice to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. 15 million people. Awesome. All right, Grant. So, my friends, um, <clears throat> I think I've seen that guy before somewhere. Yeah. Could have. Yeah. Probably, probably have. Okay. Hopefully, you won't see him anymore. <laughs> he wasn't. He wasn't that guy who was peering over your shoulder. You know, the ghosty guy, was he? No, but they, you remember that picture? That yeah. Was true. That, that that building, was, that's true. Yeah. That was true. That building was 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 there was nobody occupied that building and been empty for years. And we did a show next to it. And I, when I came out, I was behind me after somebody taking the picture. I think it was a fan of somebody taking a picture or Dale or whatever. And I saw that old, directly over my shoulder. That was weird. But all the people had left. There was nobody there. That's eerie. That, that is scary. eerie. Yeah. You, you believe in ghosts? Uh, uh, do you believe in ghosts yourself? Yeah, I do. I do. I really, really do. Um, be I do believe me, the last building we were in before we moved into this one, uh, I'm sure we had something uh, abnormal. Let's put it that way. Uh, but you know something? It liked Barbara. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I, oh, listen, like Barbara. Green doesn't like Barbara. Green. Green. Even, even the ghosts like Barbara. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, it used to fall with her chair when we were doing interviews and all sorts of things. It was having a ball with her. Yeah, definitely true. It's true. And uh, big, qu do. big question is, who doesn't like Barbara? Well, what this is it? true. This is, well, I'm, I'm yet to find a sheep that doesn't like her. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah. Hey, um... Oh, hi, York. We, we've met, um... We met Shelby the other day. Had a chat to Shelby. Hi, Lisa. Shelby, uh, I think Shelby is, Shelby Craft is, uh, what is he doing anyway? What is he doing? Uh, hopefully he's staying busy. He works for us. He does a lot of work for us. <laughs> okay, well, I want to talk to you about Shelby after we do this interview. Okay, okay. Right. Got it. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to welcome everybody along this morning and believe me, it's an absolute blast to have you all on board. Believe me, I'm really excited today. Uh, if you're going to watch this, 
Well, later on over there on YouTube, yeah, you know what to do, right? No, you do. Seriously, you do. Uh, sub, thumb, bell, bingo. Yep, uh, sub because you love us, you like us. Go on, subscribe, be a part of the noise. Uh, no longer an army, that denotes, you know, weapons and stuff. like. We don't want to do that. We want to make a noise. And believe me, it is growing exponentially every day. Be a part of it. Uh, like us with the thummy thing. Get epileptic with that thing. Show us how much you do. Go on. I double, treble dare you. Yeah. And, uh, well, why do the bell notifications when we have people like we have today, believe me, absolute legends, and yes, they are in the Hall of Fame, we're joined today uh, by Paternal Brothers, yes, it's Dale and Gail, the Hammer Brothers, back, and uh, well, we opened up the show with Crying in the Rain, uh, well, I don't see them doing too much of that, so we better talk about it, welcome back to Galaxy Guys. Well, we're glad to be back, Grant, we're glad to be back here, yes. <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold on, we'll Okay, all right. We, we'll hang right on in there. Don't worry, we, we'll get it underway. Uh, got to welcome along Lisa Saunders as well from Rise Up TV, Big Records, and all of those guys. Uh, your clients there, Jigabai Jigabai, is oh, here friend. as well. Pamela Toza, hello, Pamela. Nice to have you on board as well from Rise Up Big Records. Uh, your client again. And Franco Nanucci's there as well. Um, oh my goodness, miracles have happened. They've come back. Uh, scary stuff. Welcome back again. Thanks. Okay, Thanks sorry. Sorry. It's, it's an honor and a privilege to always be here with you and Margo. We have some fun when yeah. we do this. A little bit of hurry. Ooh, it's a hurry. Do it again. Ooh, it's a stormy day. <laughs> well, it might have been over the last couple of days here. Right. But, but you guys are in, you know, coming into summer now. You should be well into it by now. Uh, I'm yeah. loving the t-shirts. I got to be honest with you. I'm loving the t-shirts. Oh, thank you. What's it? Thank you, man. Well, I'm, I'm, we're, we're, we're guys. You like t-shirts, sure man? Uh, you, hey, man, you're looking good. Barbara always at fabulous. You're looking good too, Grant. Well, it depends, uh, you know, whether I'm um, the morning after the night before or whether I'm um, the night before before the morning after. Uh, I think I'm following you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to lose you. Uh, Sissy Low Young is joining us as well. Nice to have you on board, Sissy. Uh, and welcome to Galaxy. It really is a pleasure. Uh, Terry Van Cannon, well, we spoke to Terry yesterday and what a great guy he is. Uh, and uh, I've released uh, Nebula, uh, I've got it, I've, I've just heard it, love, love, love that. Uh, somebody here actually says, uh, Terry, I have some lyrics for that, would you be interested? Let me know, uh, because believe me, I think it would work perfectly with that. Uh, again, uh, <laughs> Mr. Lapsdale, yes, of course you're here. Uh, Sissy Lo Young, thumbs up, double thumbs up to you. Now guys, we started out the show with Crying in the Rain. Tell me a little bit about this. Why did you choose this particular track? Well, uh, Grant, it's an original song, and, and Gil and I are always writing songs, looking for subjects to write songs about, and good subject matter. Yeah, and good subject matter. So there's been a lot of people that get involved in relationships and get hurt, and, and, uh, and this particular one, the guy got involved with a married woman and ended up walking away, but, but and 20 years later, he finds out she didn't tell him she had a baby. So how many times has that happened in people's lives in real life? Probably uh, uh, a few times. Well, I've got to be honest with you guys, that's why I'm a little scared to go back to the United States, because, well, you never know what might come up. But if we see a guy with a long beard and a long tongue that says, he's your son, we'll be quiet. We'll be well, we're going to turn you in, man. Well, we're not turn you in. Yeah, well, that's what I'm afraid of. You know what I mean? <laughs> Things can, can happen out of the woodwork that just catch you by surprise, believe me. But, but, but Grant, what a better scenario to write a song about someone who loves the woman, loves this woman with all of his heart, and they fall in love. Uh, he knows it's wrong. She knows it's wrong. Evidently, he says, listen, I can't, I can't live like this. This work, he walks away. Uh, she has a child 20 years later, and, and she, she has to live with that. 
But he, he, but he didn't find out for 20 years. Right, he waited. Yeah, it was 20 years after that that he found out. She didn't tell him, right? That, that's pretty sad. So he, that when he found out, he was climbing the ring when he left her because he loved her. And then climbing the ring again after he found out he had a kid by her. So uh, what a dust land. As far as I know, but they're still out there crying. Yeah. Well, you know something? That leaves now options to be able to put all of that right and meet the sun. What do you reckon? Are you that's, that's what we hope. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, I've got to be honest with you, uh, guys, we have actually been playing it quite a bit. We didn't actually uh, say a lot about it. We just wanted to play it, see what sort of reaction we got. Everybody wow. nailed it straight away. They went, that's the Hammond Brothers. You, wow. You know, that's so brilliant. Well, that's, important. that's important to us, Grant. When the Hammond Brothers sing, you know what? Is that, who is that? They instinctively know that it's death by because we have that distinctive sound. Uh, a distinct, a distinct, yeah. distinctive sound. Yeah, we, like when you hear Dolly Parton sound, you know it's Dolly. Yeah. You hear not, them, not us. When you hear the Stadler Brothers or Merle Haggard, you know it's them. When you hear us, you know it's that. You know, it's good. Which is a great compliment. It, it really is, because believe me, guys, uh, we had so many emails, so many people getting in touch with us, texts, da da da, and they all straight away went. If I'm not mistaken, that's the Hammond Brothers, and you know what? You, they were bang on. Pretty much all the time. Had one guy go. <laughs> had one guy that thought it was seals and crafts, but well, you know. <laughs> I'm smiling, I'm smiling, da, 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 da. So, so great, so great. But the songs that uh, won't overwhelm, well received. It really is. It really is. Um, now, I, I got to say though, uh, being in Philly right now, well, you're not in Kansas anymore, Toto. Oh, that's right. That's true, and I can't wait. Oh, well, well, okay, let's instead of let's sing it. Let's let let's let let's, let's let's the Hammond Brothers sing. Let's let the Hammond Brothers sing it and let Grant play it. That's a good idea. We, we want to know what song to Grant before we play it. Okay. Well, uh, believe me, we are about to go somewhere over the rainbow. Uh, but tell me about the orchestra. Is that the film uh, Philly Philharmonic Orchestra? Yeah, yes, yes. Grant, uh, let me tell you about that. The Dave Davidson Orchestra, the Dave Davidson Orchestra in Nashville, uh, a big, pretty, pretty well-known, uh, very well-known. When we were little big boys, Grant, like five and six, seven years old, the Judy Garland movie, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, The Wizard of Oz, came on. We, always, we would always make sure to find out when it was coming on, so Joe and I would be glued to the TV, to the television, to hear Judy Garland sing that song. Somewhere over the rainbow. We, we watched the movies, uh, The Wizard of Oz, and then she would always sing that high school song in the middle of it, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. We, we were just, yeah. I, 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 I still love Judy Garland to this day. To this day. And, and then we actually got to meet Mickey Rooney and talk with him, and, and he told us stories about Judy, which was really interesting. They were, they, they were, they were a couple at one time. Yeah. We were playing the cat skills and met Mickey Rooney, and I thought, this, this is our chance to talk about Judy Garland. And, and we, we did. did. And so he talked to us, and, and we never thought that we'd go sing and sing, actually sing that song. But then it came up, and Gus said, Dell, you know, we want to give a tribute. Judy Garner's birthday is uh, this year. She's 100 years old. So what better tribute could we give her than Gail and I singing her song, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, like right, Gail? Absolutely. I, I, I think that it turned out great. Uh, I thought in, in, in the beginning, I think, if I'm not mistaken, we're the only duo in history that's ever cut somewhere over the rainbow. Yeah. And one of the things, Grant, too, is unique. What we did, we decided to go and use the same pieces yeah. as Judy Garland did in the movie. You know, that's, that, that's fantastic. But uh, I, I do have a question about the movie itself, literally. Now, you, uh, you say uh, you've watched it a number of times. Uh, yes. Did you have a pet peeve about the movie itself? Did she, did she have a pet peeve no, about did, the movie? No, did you guys have a pet peeve oh. about it? Everybody I speak to say, you know, that they've got one thing there. Uh, Barbara doesn't like the Green Witch, for instance. Uh, uh -huh. me, me, personally, I, I, I kind of graduated towards the uh, Flying Monkeys, but the thing that really peeved me the most is we never really got to know the Wiz. Oh, I see, well, the words, the words. Oh, you mean somewhere with the rainbow? No, no, no. We never got to meet the wizard. Everybody's on his way to meet the wizard. 
wonderful wizard of ours. Yeah, yeah but we never and really got to meet the guy. Well, yeah. it was a fake thing, big hit. The wizard was behind the curtain. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, yes. Well, you know, I, I always thought, you know, uh, there's a lot of dancing going on down the Yellow Brick Road, and there's a lot of effort going in to meet the guy, even a witch gets her house dropped on her. Surely to God he could make at least one appearance, don't you think? But, 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 but uh, uh, Strange, yeah, we also loved, we loved the mushrooms, right? Yeah. Oh, the Yellow Brick Road! Oh, the Yellow Brick Road! <laughs> Love that. So, releasing officially today here at Galaxy is, of course, Dale and Gale, the Hammond Brothers, and Somewhere Over the Rainbow. <laughs> Alice Walker is watching. Nice to have Alice back again and Sean Simpson as well. Uh, Sean, we love you, darling. We really, really do. And uh, congratulations. I want to have a talk to you about uh, your father at some stage. Just you and me. We'll have a chat about it and then we'll see what we can do about maybe putting it on air, make it an official. What do you think? That would be a story breaker in its own right. Um, Have we got anything new coming out in the near future, guys? Do, do you want, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Have we got anything new coming out in the near future? Yes, yeah, you do. Standing in the rain, one horse town. Uh, what else? I think he has all those. I think you have those now. I think I do. I do. Um, I, I was. So, soon. We're, we're, we're going back in the studio recording new songs and writing now. Okay. Um, I was actually talking to Barbara so the other day about a song. Those that we thought would be suited for you guys if um, if you were um, if, if you're still into doing the covers kind of deal we thought this would, would be we, perfect we do it, but we try not to do we do mainly 90% our songs yep. and we do a few covers here and there that's about okay. it we'll, yeah, we'll, sometimes we'll cover a great song that fits us well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's old and hadn't been heard a lot. We mm -hmm. cut it. Yeah. yeah, believe me, um, this was a Seals and Crofts track. Okay. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. No, not the summer jazz. breeze, but okay. What <laughs> uh, so song was that, Grant? Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember. Uh, play it. Oh, play it? Oh, it's called Play It? Yeah. I haven't, I don't, I don't I haven't played, I haven't played it. Hold on, <laughs> I'll tell you what, when we go back, I'll, I'll find it for you after we do this and we'll okay. have, a, have a listen. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. So happy to have everybody joining us today, especially for the release of the old classic yeah, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, this time with a fresh twist, yes, and uh, the Hammond Brothers being the only duos, and I think the only male duos ever in history to record that. It's fantastic. Really, really is. Oh, oh, why can't I? And you don't need a drink, you just need to watch these guys all the time, you'll be fine. <laughs> really. Having said that, guys, um, just recently you were telling me that you went back to Nashville to do a TV show down there. Uh, give us a bit of information about that. Give us a skinny on that. It's, it's Country Fix uh, video. We show all country music artists. Anybody you think of, Brad Pitt or... Uh, what's his name? Not Brad Pitt. Uh, Brad Paisley. You named the artist. And what we did, we hosted the show and, and introduced some of those guys. And, and, and we introduced, the, and they, they turned around and introduced some of us on our songs. Yeah, so we, we did them a favor by introducing their video picks. Their, and then they, they, would, they, they would introduce ours. So 
We kind of traded off. It was, it was a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of fun hosting, hosting a TV show like that. It was a lot of fun. I think it went out to the Family Channel. I don't know. Uh, the, the BBC. Uh, Heartland Network. Heartland uh, Network. Just on and on. It, it went to over, uh, I think, 100 stations uh, or networks or something like that all over the country. You know, they didn't give us any clue or idea of when that was going to be released, but I'm sure the fans will see it. Uh, nationwide, they'll let us know. Hey, saw you guys last night. So and we'll probably it was a great a honor to be asked to... We got the host, so that's a that's a great honor. Well, Grant, the good part is uh, the producer. And we got paid, Grant. We got paid. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, just money, Grant. Don't worry about holding on. I am because you always lose your oh, money. You're not good with money. Oh, you lose your money. I'm okay, I'll tell you what. If you're so good with money, uh -huh. if you answer this question, I'll give you the money. You may. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. 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 Go what would you have? I would have Grant's pants on. Yeah, and I'd be, I'd be wanting them back, too. <laughs> yeah. We didn't get paid, Grant. I had Gail's check. I promised him I'd give it to him if he stopped gambling. Gail's gambling. I'm not gambling. Yes, you are. Hey, he wants to talk to you. Lost all, I'm sorry, Grant. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead, Grant. No, I'm, I'm more you're... interested in the gambling. Tell me about this now. <laughs> wearing these because it's very sunny where we're at, and I'm kind of looking out like this. If I do, if I do this... I can see. Let me see. See? It's better with these on. It is better. Yeah. Yeah, but look. Thank Dear, 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 dear. I'm so almost lost for words, and that doesn't happen often, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, Dale and Gail Hammond, uh, thank you so much for uh, coming back again and uh, being very entertaining as well. Love, love, love that. I really, really do. Love to see you very, very shortly here in New Zealand, and I want to have a chat to you about that as we end up with this, because believe me, uh, we have some things that we want to cover with you, and uh, also we want to be able to get that through to Shelby as well. So having said that, uh, thank you for joining us. Stay right there, and for everybody else that's joined us today, thank you so much. Absolute pleasure, uh, and believe me, don't go anywhere because after 11 o'clock we're heading over to Vancouver Island to catch up with uh, yesterday's fate. Yes, Graham White's going to be joining us. He's on tour right now with Rise Up TV. Yes, Tim Steinreich, Ashley Pater are there. They partied last night. I saw that after this morning. Ashley, coffee. Lots and lots of coffee. Can I recommend that? Other than that, guys, join us after 11 o'clock. See you then. But in the meantime... Let's go back and do this. Another Mindy Artist and You brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music Dealership.